Hi, this is Chloe Capuano, CCM Communications Intern. Today on CCM Chats, we will be talking to the Mayor of New Britain. Hi, I'm Mayor Aaron Stewart. Hi, Chloe, nice to meet you. Great to meet you as well, Chloe. What has your experience been like with CCM? My experience with CCM. Okay, so I'm mayor of the city of New Britain, 75,000 people, an urban community in the state of Connecticut. We are a newer member to CCM. Truth be told, we were probably, uh, we didn't renew our membership. It was a couple years back um, due to budget constraints and financial problems, which many of our cities across the state of Connecticut are facing as well. Um, but I made the decision to rejoin CCM, and honestly, it was a great, great decision to make. Um, CCM has just invaluable resources that our staff utilizes constantly, whether it's staff training or the drug prescription program that we took advantage of. It's a lot of research um, that we rely on CCM for, so it's been great. The staff is wonderful. They're always responsive. They're there when you need them, that's for sure, and that's what we need, especially as our cities and towns our staff is diminishing um, because we just don't have the resources to continue to employ people to do jobs they once have done. So CCM is a great resource for us, especially when it comes to looking for information as where our staff on the city level is diminishing. In the next year, what policies will be a top priority for you? I think uh, as mayor of a city like New Britain, an urban area in the state of Connecticut, a smaller city, um, but yet still facing the same types of problems as Hartford and New Haven and Bridgeport, it always comes down to our money and our budgeting. Um, how do you keep taxes stable without increasing them? We do have a very high mill rate. Um, and how do you manage your city budget doing more with less, knowing that the state is going to continue to take money away from our municipality. Um, so uh, there's always a balance uh, and it's difficult and we need to rely on organizations like CCM to help advocate for us and going to the state and saying no more unfunded mandates because we can't afford it. Don't you know put in laws or legislation that are inevitably going to be passed down to the taxpayer because we're taxed out, we're maxed out, and we're also very, very understaffed. Um, so that's always a big priority. Budgeting is always number one in my mind. So we'll make it work. We always find a way to, to make it work, um, but I think that's got to be number one priority. And what is the most challenging part of budgeting specifically for you? <laughs> uh, making a balance. <laughs> um, but uh, I think when I first became mayor of the city here, um, there was a $30 million operating deficit. And it was my responsibility to reorganize and restructure city government in a way that we could fill that that gap, um, but also ensure that we're still providing the services that our residents expect. Um, and so budgeting becomes awfully difficult when you're not seeing an increase in revenues. Um, but we have had a very unique situation here in the last couple of years where we've seen an uptick in our business climate. It's not a lot, but every little bit helps. And as our grand list continues to grow, we're going to make see that make it a little bit easier for us to get our finances under control, um, especially when it comes to budgeting. But you've got to get creative when you budget um, and you have to think outside the box and you've got to not think like a government you know, entity or a bureaucrat sometimes. You've got to think differently. You know, how can I utilize resources to maybe take on different tasks in different departments that they may never had taken on before? Um, and you have to hire people that are great multitaskers and understanding that we've got to do more with limited resources, but also have a customer service orientation to our business as well. I think a lot of people forget um, that everything we do is based off of customer service to the taxpayer. And we have to make sure that they may not know that our budget is struggling. <laughs> we don't want them to know that. We want them to have the best experience possible when they come to City Hall. Thank you for your time. Thank you.